أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على حي على الفلاح اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته with the peace and blessings of Allah be upon all of us this uh, beautiful morning in the month of Ramadan and we give thanks to Almighty Allah who has given us the grace to have witnessed Ramadan so far may Almighty Allah peace have mercy on us to see this month of fasting to the end and may Allah spare our lives to witness many more Ramadans on earth. We thank Allah for the ease and grace. We thank him for the favors and blessings. We thank him for the preferential treatment he has been given to us, even when we don't deserve that much. We praise him over and over again, and we pray for increase in all the goodness and blessings he has done for us in our personal lives, in our families, and in our great nation, Nigeria. You are most welcome to the program again. The program, as if you did not know, is a whole live, reaching you from NTA. And my name is Abdul Fattah Adeyemi. I want to mention to us our sheikhs in the house, so you help me to welcome them too, to your living quarters. Sheikh Ali Imam Fuad Adeyemi is here with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And uh, we also have uh, uh, Malam Umar Rufai. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much for always being around our Imam. May Allah bless you all. Those of you that are here with us in the studio and those other Imams out there that are waking up day and night to ensure that we uh, put the maximum effort in our act of Ibadah. May Allah reward all of you abundantly. Especially as we are moving towards the last 10 of uh, Ramadan, uh, it's uh, a time when all of these imams are very, very busy. We can only pray that Allah should give them more strength and energy to continue to lead us in the direction of uh, having our fasting, month of fasting acceptable in the sight of Allah. So on that note now, uh, we want to quickly mention the features of our program for today. We are going to have our recitation like we normally do. That's going to be taken by Aisha Umm Abaka Siddiq. And we have the translation by Sheikh Abaka Siddiq. Then there will be the commentary for what we refer to as tafsir of the portion recited. It's going to be done by Sheikh Imam Fuad Adeyemi and uh, Malam Umar Rufai. After that, we are going to have uh, many more segments for us, like we normally do. We are going to have Living with the Glorious Quran coming up today. We also have um, technology and culture also coming ahead. And we are going to have Al Habibiyah time where we discuss matters of um, you know, being kind towards humanity, extending hands of generosity towards humanity, and assisting our brothers in need, especially during this period of a global situation 
of um, hardship and economic crunches on the people generally. We'll, uh, we'll see how, what we can do to assist one another as brothers and as citizens of this great nation, Nigeria. After that, we have the quiz segment coming up, and there are so many more discussions in between, and we'd like all of us to let's do this together like you know, we normally do. So on that note now, let's go recite the Quran, uh, and uh, Aisha Umma Bakar Siddiq is standing by to lead us in that recitation. The program is Sahu Live on NTA. Please stay tuned and enjoy. Assalamu alaikum. فمن يعمل من 
الصالحات وهو مؤمن فلا كفران لسعيه وإنا له كاتبون وحرام على قرية أهلكناها أنهم لا يرجعون حتى إذا فتحت يأجوج ومأجوج وهم من كل حدب ينسلون وقترب الوعد الحق فإذا هي شاخصة أبصار الذين كفروا فإذا هي شاخصة أبصار الذين كفروا يا ويلنا قد كنا في غفلة من هذا بل كنا ظالمين إنكم وما تعبدون من دون الله حصب جهنم أنتم لها واردون لو كان هؤلاء آلهة ما وردوها وكل فيها خالدون لهم فيها زفير وهم فيها لا يسمعون إن الذين سبقت لهم من الحسنى أولئك عنها مبعدون صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the outcast, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, and among the rebellious forces which we made subservient to him. There were some that dived for him into the sea and performed other works besides, but it was we who kept watch over them. And remember Job when he cried out to his sustainer, Affliction has befallen me. Thou art the most merciful of the merciful. Whereupon we responded unto him and removed all the affliction from which he suffered and gave him new offspring, doubling their number as an act of grace from us and as a reminder unto all who worship us. And remember Ishmael and Idris, and everyone who, like them, has pledged himself unto Allah. They all were among those who are patient in adversity, and so we admitted them unto our grace. Behold, they were among the righteous. And remember him of the great fish, when he went off in wrath, thinking that we had no power over him. But then he cried out in the deep darkness of his distress, there is no deity save thee. Limitless art thou in thy glory. Verily, I have done wrong. And so we responded unto him and delivered him from his distress. For thus do we deliver all who have faith. And thus did we deliver Zechariah when he cried out unto his sustainer, O oh, my sustainer, leave me not childless. But even if thou grant me no bodily heir, I know that thou wilt remain when all else has ceased to be. And so we responded unto him and bestowed upon him the gift of John, having made his wife fit to bear him a child. And verily, these three would vie with one another in doing good works and would call unto us in yearning and awe, and they were always humble before us. 
and remember her who guarded her chastity. Whereupon we breathed into her of our spirit and caused her, together with her son, to become a symbol of our grace unto all people. Verily, O you who believe in me, this community of yours is one single community, since I am the sustainer of you all. Worship then me alone, that men have torn their unity wide asunder, forgetting that unto us they are all bound to return. But men have torn their unity wide asunder, forgetting that unto us they all are bound to return. And yet whoever does the least of righteous deeds and is a believer withal, his endeavor shall not be disowned, for behold, we shall record it in his favor. Hence it has been unfailingly true of any community whom we have ever destroyed, that they were people who would never turn back from their sinful ways. Until such a time as Gog and Magog are let loose upon the world and swarm down from every corner of the earth, the why of the true promise of resurrection draws close to its fulfillment. But then, no, the eyes of those who in their lifetime were bent on denying the truth will stare in horror, and they will exclaim, Oh, woe unto us! We were indeed heedless of this promise of resurrection. Nay, we were bent on doing evil. Then they will be told, Verily, you and all that you were burnt to worship instead of Allah are but the fuel of hell. That is what you are destined for. If those false objects of your worship had truly been divine, they would not have been destined for this. But as it is, you all shall abide therein. Mourning will be their lot therein, and nothing else will they hear therein. But behold, as for those for whom the decree of ultimate good has already gone forth from us, these will be kept far away from that hell. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, thank you very much for staying tuned. We just recited from the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Anbiya, the chapter of Prophets of Allah. Now we took this surah from verse 82 to 101. May Allah bless the recitation and bless all of us who have listened to the recitation. Let's go on for the commentary now. We we'll start from you, uh, Malam Umar Rufai. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, alhamdulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Yesterday, five prophets were made mention. As we know, the chapter is referred as Surah Al-Anbiya. That is the chapter of the prophets, because they were mentioned so much. And today, eight, the seven prophets were mentioned. Mm -hmm. And together with uh, the last one, that is uh, Maryam, the Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Looking at all this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after mentioning of the prophets uh, and mentioning of Maryam alayhi salam as the last, mm -hmm. then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered by saying, Inna hazihi ummatukum ummatan wahida." وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَعْبُدُونَ That this, your community, this religion, your religion, is one single religion, mm. or is one single community, no. Ummah. Um, here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even made an emphasis by saying, Inna, Inna. That means with full emphasis, mm. surely, no. surely, it's reality. 
that all these prophets mention, right from Prophet Ibrahim, Noah, the right, and uh, up to Mary, mm. all of them, they are, they are one single community, no. Ummatan Wahida. That means to tell each and every one of us that there is link between all of them. Mm. There is connectivity between all of between them. Between all of them. So that to bring to my mind and the minds of everybody that these people are all from one single and likewise w uh, from the same source. Mm. And they are there receiving message from one source mm. that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah said, وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ And I'm your own sustainer. I'm your Lord. فَعْبُدُونَ Then worship me. It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that all of those generations up to the all, because now by the time you start from Prophet Noah, alayhi salam, mm -hmm. which by implication, it even added Prophet Adam, alayhi salam. No. And uh, by mentioning Mary, it means is indicating Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. Then Allah said, all of them, mm -hmm. with you, that is we, the Muslims, mm -hmm. you are all from one single generation. Allah. You are all one single community, mm -hmm. so that you unite. When you unite, and you are doing the right thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely raise you. Mm. But if you are having a thought that these ones, <coughs> they have their God, these ones are having their God separate, mm. it means you are not uniting towards facing what you are supposed to face. Mm. So a, a community, society, a nation can move if there is unity. Mm. If they can trace their history that they are one, and they are one single community, and they will move forward if they are taking such a history, and also they are establishing the unity in their own community, in their own nation, so that they move forward and have development. Allah yeah. Thank you very much. So we should all know that we are all the same, from the same source, all religions, mm. from Almighty all Allah, religions. are all from Allah, and the, the prophets are all from Almighty Allah with one single message of oneness of Almighty Allah. That's very instructive, so there's no need for uh, separations and things like that. May Allah help us to be united mm -hmm. on the path of the truth. Imam Fuad, let's hear from you too. Well, Alhamdulillah, uh, we are grateful to him once again. Alhamdulillah. For all those blessings, despite our shortcoming, mm -hmm. he still bless us. Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah. We thank him and uh, we are sincerely grateful to him. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I will also start from where uh, Ustaz uh, dwell in. But before that, uh, let's quickly see the story of these prophets mm -hmm. that Allah mentioned before he now told us that all of them, they belong to what we call the monotheistic family, which uh, each should respect each other. Mm. Uh, each should honor each other. That all of you, that you are the one, the verse that follows, you are actually the one that separated yourself. Mm. The Allah said that all of you will return back to him. Mm. And the verse that also follows is telling us that all of you that is doing anything that is righteous, mm. be rest assured, you have a place with me. And yeah. uh, when you come, uh, paradise awaits you. Allah so Allah. if you are not doing anything, and you are not being righteous, and you think you are in one religion, you assume that because you are in that religion, you are better than any other person you are deceiving yourself. Mm -hmm. Your That religion could be only become better when you are showing humanity that you are from God and they are from God. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing that shows that you are better. But in a situation where you just assume that you people are the ones that belong to the best class mm -hmm. and others, and you are looking down on him, I think that is a uh, personal aggrandizement. Uh, you have bloated impression about yourself. Mm -hmm. What you are not, you think that is what you are. But let's quickly see uh, some of the prophet that Almighty Allah mentioned here. First, mm -hmm. he's describing somebody as the known. 
hmm. one of the prophets, that is Sayyidina Yunus, hmm. alayhi yeah. salatu was salam, yeah. is the one uh, that is described as the known. Hmm. Allah sent him to the people uh, that is uh, in Nineveh, okay. in the present day uh, Iraq. Hmm. That is where he was in uh, Nineveh. When Allah sent him, he, the, he was giving the message and none of them listened to him. Hmm. Instead of saying, no, you know, Salih Salatu was salam, to go and meet God, that God, these people are not listening to me, or he just abandoned the work. He said, me, I'm no more doing. He wanted to cross, hmm. and he has to enter a ship. And there, God wants to show him, okay, I sent you mes a message, and you think you are more important than the message of the people have sent you. He wanted to jackpot. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to do jackpot. So, as he tried to do that, something happened that they have to throw him inside the ocean. Hmm. And in throwing him inside the ocean, will swallow him. Hmm. In fact, he thought he has died. He thought <laughs> paradise uh, <laughs> he was in the grave. <laughs> Until God brought senses to him, he now realized that, ah, this is what is happening. Mm, he started begging God in a place where nobody else has done it. I think that's also an opportunity. Mm. Uh, when anything happened to us, we should make it an opportunity in life. Mm. So that's the way where he told God, God, see me, I'm begging you, I'm worshiping where no one else has done it, mm. inside the belly of a whale. Mm. And don't forget, it was in like three layers of darkness. Mm. The darkness of the day itself, mm the darkness of the ocean hmm. and the darkness inside the whale. Allah so Allah three Allah. layers hmm. of darkness. Hmm. So when he was vomited uh, ashore, he prostrated and to tell God, La ila ila anta to tell God, so God, I know I've wronged myself Allah. that except you. But God now surprised him. You see, hmm. this is even the main crush of the story. Mm. When he got back to Nineveh, mm. he now discovered that all of them have accepted Islam. They have mm. listened to God. Mm. So the meaning is, when God gives you one opportunity, don't misuse it. Mm. Is God want to do something? He just want to put your hand to 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 sign something yeah. you did not do. To say as if you are the one. That as did if you are the one that there is one popular know. saying among my people. That, that everything which they are, they are doing, they are enjoying, that is their parents who scored the goal and the parents moved to the back of the goalpost, mm -hmm. they are now wearing the jersey of the father, thinking that they are the one who scored the goal. That is the way God is doing it for us. Mm -hmm. God has provided opportunities for others. He was the one who wanted to do his thing. Mm -hmm. He will now use you, you so that you feel big, you feel happy and that yeah, you are I'm used. Fine. But if you now decide, decide not to uh, uh, answer God's calling and you feel you are busy, you are doing something, you will see that that thing that you think you don't want to do, God will do it better. Hmm. You will see Even it being done you. better okay. without you and you will now open your eyes, your hmm. mouth and all something. What is happening? So yeah, whatever well. opportunity has given to us, either to help, either in a position, either at home, either in the relationship with anybody, do not waste that time to do what you know is right. Hmm. But if you don't do it, believe me, that thing will still be done and you will not be relevant. Subhanallah. Hmm. Allah Akbar. That will be very, very serious. And I, I, I've uh, learned a lot from there. That means uh, if God wants to bless somebody, he actually sends you sometimes to say, go and deliver this message to that person. There's a scholar, one of our teachers, he said, it's only prayer that God Anybody you want to help, send me to him. Anybody you want to punish, don't send me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Allah, please send me. Oh, I'm a transformer of uh, business uh, of goodness. Uh, send me, give me plenty. Then you tell me to give small. <laughs> That's the kind of message me. I like to, uh, you know, I to like deliver. To, yeah, deliver. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. bless me, plenty, plenty, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, those that you also want to bless, send them to me. And the one that has blessed you, are you remembering others there first? So mm. that is the first That's one. That's the other thing. <laughs> it's it's so uh, okay, so whoever is holding my blessing, you should come and deliver the message. Yeah. What yeah. about you yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm available. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, I'm available if you are holding my blessing, come and deliver it. Don't, don't keep God's message for me in your pocket too. And uh, so that whoever I'm supposed to bless too now, then I also, so everything will just go around. Let's circulate the blessing. And very instructively, it's an opportunity actually when Allah gave you the means and the time and the resources to actually bless somebody else. It's like God is sending you on errand. Mm -hmm. And like you said, if you don't do it, those people will not die of hunger. Mm -hmm. God will still bless them in some other mm -hmm. ways. And then maybe in the day of judgment, you now begin to regret that, ah, I should have, I could have, I ought to have. <laughs> so therefore, as a matter of fact, there is a lot of grammar <laughs> on that day of judgment. May Allah save us from having negative regrets. Mm -hmm. And may Allah help us to have the positive regret that, oh, I have done very well. I wish I had done much better. It's better than I didn't do at all. Allah assist us. We have been motivated again today. Let everybody take note of this. And wherever it has affected you, please make adjustment. We are all from Almighty Allah. And to him, all of us shall return. Sure. Those prophets mentioned in the glorious Quran, Allah described them in very good terms. You may not be mentioned in the Quran, but in whatever record, God is recording good deeds. Your name too should not be left out. May Allah accept it from us. On that note now, let's go peek into what the ladies are keeping as secret, and we want to see what they got for us today. Let's go on for the delicious experience, and the program continues. It's Sahu Live on NTA. Stay tuned and enjoy. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Karim. Sunana Shafatima. Yang waka kumanta chiwa, abinchi yana da mahim manchi ajiki. Yana gina jiki, yana kara dunkwan suya ya, gama aurata, da kuma uada da, da kuma mata da miji. Haka za leka, a wan nan shirya shirya mutayo tamagi diaries. Monk ao muku wata kai tachiya girke girke. Me a bumba ma maiki. Me kaya tarwa. Da kuma mata za su koya abubuwa da yawa. Shi yasa a cikin wannan shirin namu ta Magi Dares muna koyawa mata yanda za su yi amfani da kudi yan kalilan su wa iyalan su girke-girkai mai dadi. A cikin shirin namu na yau ina da bakuwa ta da za ta hadu da ni cikin kitchen mai wannan girke-girkai kuma yanzu zan shigo da bakuwa ta. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Ramadan Karim. Ramadan Karim. Ya gida. Lafiya kala. Ya iyali. Lafiya kala. To yawa kuma sai kika shigo cikin kitchen din namu. Haka ne. To kin ga abubuwan da muke da su a kasa? Amma yanzu zan gaya wa wanda suke kallon mu daga ko ina kuke a cewa in mun ka je muka dauki ɗan lokaci kadan muka je hutu in mun ka dawo zan gaya musu me ke tafa da mu. I want to share a name with you. Mama, you know what you want. So, Dana, just to change the client car, cause I got you a bunch. Yeah, yeah, na. Soon here, are you at? Nasan, say soon she, soon ho she. Zas iye yin nasara arayuwa. Soon the nagano magi soya chunks. Kara sinada rum protein a abinchina. Do mean the magi soya chunks? Zan iye basu sinada rum protein a chicken abinchunsu. I think you may gain a jiki, get Yalina a kulum. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. And remember, before we go for break, I said we're going to be doing something amazing. Yo, Zamui Abenda Miki Chi, Ale Lang Kwa Kwa, Ban Sanko Kuntap Ajentaba. That is Coconut Moi Moi. Wow. Wow. So, Kengan? za kowa zai ta mamaki cewa dama ana alalan kwakwa saboda kwakwa mun mun santa cewa muna kunin gyada da ita muna kwakumeti muna sauran abubuwa but a wannan zangon ta mu ta magi diaries zan koya muku yanda ake amfani da kwakwa ayi alala so yanzu kawai zaki dauko waken ki da kuma barkonan ki da sauran su sai ki je ki marka da mun kin ga muna da wake wankakiya muna da kuma tattasan mu nan zaki hada ta da air shambo sai ki sa dan attarugu sai ki marka do mun ita kuma ki tabbatar marka dan ta yi laushi sosai da kuma albasa kai ki manta ko zan manta ba so introducing all our menu for today 
I said we are going to be making coconut moi moi and couscous pap to pair with. And at the same time, I'm going to be introducing all our recipe for today. One, we have red bell pepper, we have scotch bonnet, we have some jalapeno, red jalapeno precisely, then we have some boiled egg, and we also have crayfish. We have some seasoning to taste. So I'm gonna be using two types of seasoning. One, I'm using signature jello from Maggie. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm gonna be using Maggie crayfish. Could you imagine the combination? Too, 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 oh my too, God, too. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you have your mackerel fish. So now, we also have, instead of using vegetable oil, we are gonna be using coconut oh oil God. because we are making what? Coconut moi moi. moi. Yes, so that is the introduction for the moi moi. And now, please can you go and get my blender and also blend my beans for me if you really want to do iftar with me. So now, I'm gonna be dressing my moi moi leaf. You need this moi moi leaf, very, very important. A lot of people don't know how to dress moi moi leaf, neither how to use it to wrap up their moi moi. But with Maggie Diaries, your problem is solved. So watch me carefully while I dress the moi moi leaf. So now I'm gonna dress up here by cutting down this. Please, Alina, how far about my beans? Mm, I'm almost done. At the end of the day, you might not be able to wrap up your moi moi. So after cutting down, you come back to the, you turn the back, you break it, you break, you break. While you break, you discover it's peeling out on its own. So that makes the moi moi leaf more flexible for you to be able to fold it properly. So by Kingama, Chirita seke ajita. So yanzu ina jiran ta ta kawo mun markadina. Bayan ta kawo mun markadina za ku ga labari na gaba. Ga markadai. Woo na gode. Yawa. So now we have our blended moi moi. Blended. Okay? Yes, blended moi moi. Now we have other ingredients to add to it. Remember, we still have our crayfish, mm -hmm. our seasoning, our mackerel, and every other thing, including our seasoning. Remember, we are using two mm -hmm. seasoning, that is signature jollof and also Maggie mm -hmm. crayfish. Okay, so now we are ready to start our moi moi. So we have this, I'll use this to turn my moi moi, then I'll be using this to also scoop mm -hmm. out the moi moi. So, yanzu. So, yanzu. Same with Anju, ya ita alelang, marakata. Eza kebani magi, kebani crayfish, the kuma signature jollof. Baran sa crayfish and then chicken ta. Zama then sa mata crayfish. Sa and nam with um bar but I'm at one signature jollof. I'm a tuma be no good. So by nai haka, zan cow crayfish ummu saying it and zubata. So I'm adding the crayfish now to the blended moi moi after adding the signature jollof. So batching haka kaki manta, a la lenda zamu yo, a la lung kwa kwa chi. So yang zuga madara, madara on kwa kwa. So zang zuba mata madara on kwa kwa. Ban na zuba madara on kwa kwa, se injuya cha. The next step is for us to add what? The moi moi paste into our leaf. So remember, I've already told you, I'm gonna be showing you how to fold this. So you overlap. You pick two. I usually use two leaves to be on a safer side. So you pick two leaves and you overlap it. After overlapping, you go from the right. You turn it careful. But what is the difference between using the leaf and the one that they use a the container to prepare? Okay, the difference is that this has a natural flavor. So after folding it, 
then you bend it through the back. So yanzu bayan mun nada ta kin gana dan lankwasa ta. Bayan na lankwasa yanzu zan dibi markade ta da na hada ta da sinadaran siki pea so spices sa annan zan dan zuba ta kadan bayan na zuba isashe ina zuwa dan dakata bayan na zuba isashe sai in dauki kwai sai ki jefa kwanki ciki bayan kin jefa kwanki zaki dan kalma sota ta nan bayan kin kalma sota sai ki yo ta haka sa annan sai ki nada ta haka sai ki sa ta haka kin gani kin same ta ta fito miki da kyau amma salina kin san wannan da muka yayyanka daga cikin ganyen tana da amfani ita za mu shimfida cikin tukunyar so yanzu saboda ta za ta zama kaman base ne wa alalan maimakon alalan ta je cikin ruwa directly zaki ga tana zama kan wannan so yanzu abinda zaki zaki kawo min wannan ruwa da ke kettle din ni kuma zan dan kunna wuta tunda ruwan ta tafasa da na kunna wuta ta sai ki kawo ruwa ki biyo ta nan sai ki sa min ruwan da kin sa ruwa sai mu shimfida ta isa ta isa ya isa kai ki sa da yawa ruwan da za ku sa kai ku sa ruwan ta yi yawa saboda in ta yi yawa za ta haukan alalan so yanzu sai ku shirya wannan sandar sai ku shirya ta a kasa tukunyan ta zama mata kaman base wato in babu base din alalle din zai iya kama tukunya kasan tukunya ba zai kama kasan tukunya ba zai jike zai jike saboda ruwan za ta raka shiga ciki amma in kin ka shirya ta haka sai ki ga abubuwan sun tafi miki daidai so kan ku manta ruwan mu ta fashashiya ce so yanzu wannan da na nada kawai zan daura ta a samar kin ganta so haka za mu yi da sauran su so a yanzu da muka bar alalan mu tana da huwa za mu je mu yi kunun kuskus saboda mun ce za mu za mu hada alalan da kunun kuskus so now we are placing our pot here and of course i'm going to do that dispensing some water into the pots one for you to prepare this couscous uh, pap i'm making for like three persons you need two cups of water one cup of couscous half cup of powdered milk and of course one cup of yogurt or no no so yanzu zan kunna shi gas dina sai ki bani garin madara garin madarar mu rabin kofi ce sa'an nan kuskus din mu kuma kofi daya shi yogurt din mu kuma kofi daya so abinda zan sa cikin nan yanzu zan sa garin madara ciki sai in dan burga ta so that kar na same ta da gudaji amma kar ki yadda ruwan ta tafa su kafin ki hada garin madarar ki cikin ruwa kina daura ruwa ki zuba garin madarar ki sai ki dan yi whisking din ta saboda kar ta samu gudaji in kuma kin ka barta ta tafa su zaki ga cewa garin madarar ki tana gudaji sai mu rufe ta amma in kin ka rufe sai ki hankali saboda in tana tafa suwa tana iya tasowa so now it's time for us to add the couscous the reason why i'm using whisk is to get everything smooth so you whisk in your couscous while doing this you discover you are struggling with the milk because it's bubbling up so but you keep whisking to calm the milk down selina asks me whether you can add sugar or honey please is your choice you might decide to add sugar or you might decide to add honey but for me no sugar no honey all i want to add is a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice to enjoy my kunung couscous to jama'a yanzu za mu duba mu ga alalan mu ko ta dafu can go alali ta dafu so at this point our moy moy is good to go so zan dan rufa alalan mu couscous din mu kuma kunan ta yi ready tana zaune sa'an nan za mu kara mata nono da mun dawo daga wannan yan lokaci da za mu dauka na hutu sai mu hada komin da komin kuma sai ku ga yanda abubuwan suka kasance
kai kalle abun ban sha'awa yanzu wannan alalan ba ta baki sha'awa ba sha'awa and remember i also told you that you need to set your kunun kuskus aside a little bit to get cold before you add your yogurt or no no not completely cold please just like look warm so now it's time for us to add our yogurt to the kunun kuskus so here in a hada yogurt din mu chicken kunun kuskus din mu sa'annan zan yi amfani da whisk ɗi na kuma sai na dan jujjuya ta amma kamshin kaman ai kamshin kuma kaman za ta karya wa mutun azami so yanzu za mu zuba kunun kuskus din mu cikin wannan akwanan daure min shi sa'annan kake manta uwar gida kina iya barbada ɗan yaji a saman ta saboda kin ga kunun kuskus din fara ce tas sa'annan sai ki sa yajin ki kuma yajin ki jani sai ki ga gaba ɗaya mai gida yana murmushi kafin ma ya ci abinci me zan yi fada ku akan yan kukan mama na mai dadi da kuma dan waken ta mai dadi ta ce sirrin ta magista wadda ake yin ta da wakin soya da wa'ansu suna da ran mas inganci da yake ba da ma'ana a cikin girke-girken ta amma ba ni da abincin da na fi so dan duk girkin mama na da dadi magi girki mai inganci to salina me zaki iya fada min game ga wannan girke-girke da muka yi yau na wato ita alalan kwakwa da kuma kunun kuskus kisa na gya muke tunda lokacin da muke cikin kitchen nace miki alalin kwakwa wannan ban taba gane ba aka dafa a gabana kuma kunun kuskus din kuma ban taba sha ba to yau ji la musharuwa zan sa wannan ba yau dai zaki ci alalin kwakwa da kuma kunun kuskus share your thought with us on our social media handle accounts until we meet again in our next episode We at Maggie Diaries wish you a blessed Ramadan season. With Maggie, everyone is welcome. Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem, Kareem and bye for now. صدق الله العظيم المتوحد في الجلال بكمال الجمال تعظيما وتكبيرا Ramadan the blessed month is upon us once again and your indispensable companion in Ramadan Sahur Life on NTA is back bigger and better Our theme for this 21st edition of the program is navigating difficult times the help of Allah and our team of erudite scholars are poised to offer insightful tips on dealing with life's difficulties. Our companion segment, including Nasiha, Women Angle, Living with the Glorious Quran, are back bigger and better. The popular quiz segment is now reloaded to accommodate more winners, both online and offline. Come and partner with us at NTA Channel 5 Abuja, the Unity Station, as we strive to bring you this year's episode of the program. For donations and sponsorship, contact the General Manager, NTA Channel 5 Abuja, Old Parade Ground, Area 10, Ganki, Abuja. You can also contact us on 080-33-147812 or 080 080-35-68-8394. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you abundantly as you contribute to the success of this soul-lifting program. Sahur Life on NTA, your, your indispensable companion in Ramadan. ولك الشكر يا الله على ما أنعمت به وأوليت. Thank you very much for not going away. We are still here. This is Sahu Live on NTA, and so far so good. May Allah bless all of us for our being patient and for staying tuned to the program. We want to quickly look into the timing of when we should stop eating and when we should start eating. Just like Imam Fuad does. So we'll go over to him now to hear some of those timing uh, changes and differences. 
Yes, uh, the time we uh, stop it in Abuja still remain 5.22 like that of yesterday, mm -hmm. where the time to for iftar still remain the same as 6.43 in the evening. Inshallah. But for the Gwandu people, those who <laughs> are fasting in Gwandu, it's 5.29, they will stop it in this morning, and 6.54 is their own time for iftar. And for those who are fasting in Calabar, yeah. 18 minutes after 5 is the time they will stop it in this morning, okay. and 6.36 in the evening is for the iftar. If you are fasting in Enugu, Enugu State, 5.21 is the time to stop it in this morning, okay. and equally 6.43 is the time to, do, to stop, to resume back. Yeah. If you are fasting in Ife, Modake, Magan, Akinlalu, all those areas, 5.35 you stop it in this morning, okay. and 6.51 in the evening you break your fast. If you are fasting Muslim in Jalingo, four minutes after five, it's time for you to stop eating this morning and 6.25 in the evening, you break your fast. The Lagosians who are still in Lagos, 5.37 is the time that they will stop eating uh, this morning okay. and 6.50 in the evening is the time for them to break their fast. Mm. So the fasting Muslim, lastly in Sokoto, 5.26 is the time for them to stop eating this morning. Why 6.51 is the time? For their own iftar, may Allah accept all what we do as an act of ibadah. Amen. Thank you so very much. Jazakallah khairan, ya Imam. Mm -hmm. We move on to the next segment now. We have a Sheikh Abraman Ahmad to take us on the Nasiha segment. He is going to be talking about justice as a tool for national security. This promises to be very enlightening. Let's stay tuned and be part of that. It is still Saul Live on NTA. Assalamu alaikum. أحمدك ربي وأشكرك على نعمك العظيم الذي لا تعدى لا تؤصى ولا تعد في الليل إذا أسعس والصبح إذا تنفس أيها الإخوة الأخوات الأحبة في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praise is due to Allah the Lord of the world I praise and glorify his name I ask his peace and blessings upon the leader of mankind our leader and patron Muhammad, members of his pure household and his most faithful and honorable companions. May Allah bless them and give them peace. May Allah bless you and I too as we obey the commandment of Allah in fasting this month of Ramadan. Today we want to look at um, a topic that is of importance. The world today is experiencing a lot of turmoil, a lot of upheavals. People are up against one another. We do not know peace. Security everywhere is violated. Wars, insurrections, insurgencies are going on in all part, virtually all parts of the world. The powerful are rising one against the other. The weak are not even left out. They are being trampled upon by the powerful. Even among the weak, they are not at peace with themselves. They are not at peace with their Lord. They are not at peace with their neighbors. We, we should ask, why is there so much insecurity so much chaos why are there wars why are there insurgencies and insurrections in virtually all parts of the world it is not far-fetched at all we should not look far we should look at the quality of justice that we have around the world quality of justice at home in the neighborhood in our countries in the sub-region and in the world. Obviously, we don't need to be told that this is not a just world at all. Justice is just, uh, every day is suffering set back. We mouth justice. We are cruel. We are unjust one to the other. This is contrary to the commands of Allah wa ta'ala when he enjoined justice upon us. He said, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون Every Friday in almost all parts of the world the Imam repeats this to our hearing Allah commands justice He said himself in Hadith Al-Qudsi إني حرمت الظلم على نفسي وجعلته بينكم محرما فلا تظلموا That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking I have forbidden injustice unto myself and I have made it forbidden among you do not be unjust to one another this is the most eloquent uh, injunction that Allah will not accept injustice from anyone and injustice has there and very grave consequences indeed it is not just that Allah enjoins us to be just he wants us to be fair he wants us to be compassionate he wants us to be good he wants us to be merciful one unto the other as he is even merciful unto us but today in the world we discover that it is a perpetual struggle between the haves and the haves have nots the dimension of justice is very wide it is not just about law you know the dispensation of justice in the courts that's just an aspect of justice there is justice uh, you know in the upbringing of children justice in weights and measures justice um, in whatever we do in creating a level playing field for all in creating opportunities for all justice in 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 providing equal and equitable access to education to health care to all of the social benefit that accrues to a person from being a member of a country, a state, or even a member of the human community. Um, but we discover that all of these, all of these are, 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 are not being, being observed. We may ask brothers and sisters, what are the dimensions of injustice that is leading to all these kinds of insecurity around us? we know today one of the greatest challenges facing you and i facing us as a people facing us as a nation is insecurity insecurity of lives and properties inability to travel freely the fear of kidnapping banditry the farmer had a clash in fact it is going from the absurd to the insane uh, we're not safe at home, we're not safe in the school, we're not safe even in government-owned public transportation. We are not safe. We're not safe at home, we're not safe abroad. We ask why. And the simple answer is that, first, there is no justice. There is no legal justice. There is no distributive justice. And we will only have peace, we will only have security if we are just as individuals, if we are just as communities, if our government is just, if in the dispensation of justice um, the courts are seen to be fair and just, and it is not justice to the highest bidder. It is even on, on, on very, 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 very unnerving indeed that those who are accused of committing one crime or the other are it, having a swell time, you know, a swell time in, in their correctional facilities uh, while the, the, the agony of the crimes they have committed uh, is being suffered by their victims. What kind of society 
can we build without justice? And that is why it is said, Al Adilu Asasul Mulk, the foundation of every power, the foundation of every sovereignty, the foundation of every sovereign is uh, justice. Without justice, this is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, himself is a lover of justice. Often and often in the Quran, Allah will say, وَمَا اللَّهُ يُرِيدُ ظُلْمًا لِلْعَالَمِينَ And Allah does not love that injustice will permeate the world. He doesn't love injustice. Allah will not trust anyone on justice. Admission, admission, admission. And Warrow Hoda League Academy wishes to announce its admission for the 2024 2025 academic session. And Warrow Hoda League Academy is an Islamic school that operates the Nigerian educational curriculum. Our classes are Playgroup, pre nursery, nursery one and two, grade one to five, Jesses one to three, and secondary classes. Our school boasts a fully functional library, a science laboratory, a home also offer Islamia classes for both children and adults. Hurry and register your child with us. We are located at Plot 123 Sokoto Street, Area 1, Section 1, Gurki, Abuja. For further inquiries, please call 080-34-327691 or 070-66-6061-23. Send us an email on the address showing on your TV screen. And Warrell Hulda League Academy, Great Thinkers. In a world where first impression counts, your style speaks volume. It is time to elevate your game with every man clothing and accessories. Our high quality menswear is tailored for the modern gentleman. Discover the elegance and sophistication of our Italian suits designed for those who understand the power of a perfect fit. Embrace your roots with our collection of native menswear combining tradition and fashion to create a statement that is uniquely you. Step out in style with our selection of shoes and picked to complement your wardrobe and provide the ultimate finishing touch. Complete your look with her exceptional ranges of ties and belts, carefully chosen to suit your individual style and make a statement that's all your own. Elevate your style with every man clothing and accessories. Visit us today and redefine your wardrobe. Our showrooms are located at Suite 18, First Floor, Vintage Up Mall, 135 Ademola Adito Kumba Crescent, Wuse to Abuja, and Suite 3, Second Floor, Medebino Plaza, opposite Grand Ibro Hotel, Michael Opara Street, Wuse Zone 5, Abuja, Nigeria. You can reach us on via phone call on 081 7609 in the midst of cacophony of private and public schools, very few meet the desired needs of discerning Muslim parents in the areas of education, morals, and spirituality. Atanzil Schools believes that education is total and an all round development of the brain, body, mind, and soul, and we have uniquely blended Islamic and secular learning with uncommon mastery. Atanzil Schools is full boarding with superb academic, human, and caregiving resources. Parents who experience Atanzil Schools have attested to the versatility of our pupils, the dedication of our staff, and the meticulousness of our management. We have held numerous awards in both Quranic and secular competitions. The standard is world class. The fees are pocket friendly. Come on, let's nurture the children that will comfort your eyes and give you sakina in your old age. At Tanzil Schools is located in Valley View Estate after Waik Office in Bitaibubu Kurudu, Lagos. Admission is on. Call now 0810-589-1274. Email info at atanzilschools.com. At Tanzil Schools, nurturing tomorrow's leaders. In the heart of Kogi State, nestled among the rich agricultural fields, lies a beacon of education and growth. We welcome you to Al Islam Farmers International School, Awulu Ampa, Kogi State, Nigeria where every child's journey begins with nurturing and knowledge. From nursery to primary and secondary education, we provide a holistic learning experience that cultivates curiosity and excellence. At Al Islam Farmers International School, Awulu Ampa Kogi State, we don't just teach from textbooks, we cultivate future leaders with a deep appreciation for agriculture, science and technology aimed at providing a sustainable growth for every child. 
Our classes are nursery, primary, secondary. We also teach comprehensive Islamic and Quranic education for all ages. Our learning facilities are top-notch and cater to both day and boarding students in a secured and safe environment. Enroll your child today at Al Islam Farmers International School, Awulu, Akbar Kogi State, and watch them grow into confident, compassionate leaders of tomorrow. For inquiries on how to register, please call the following numbers 081 165 96503 or 091 592 906 75 or visit our website at www.alislamfis.com.ng. Al Islam Farmers International School. Awulu Ankma Kogi State, Nigeria. The fear of Allah is the peak of wisdom. A'uzu billahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. You're welcome to another episode of Tech and Culture. Today, we'll be looking at the story of an interesting organization that was established strategically to facilitate and coordinate the development and activities of Islamic organizations in the FCT. And that organization is the Abuja Muslim Forum. You see, in the early 90s, precisely 1990, the Abuja Muslim Forum was formed. As at that time, many of us were not in the, in the FCT. Abuja Muslim Forum served as the receiver for a lot of Muslims into the FCT. When Muslims arrive in the FCT, their settlement, settling into the community, you know, getting their guidance, getting a spiritual connection, making friends, Abuja Forum was the go-to place and they were located in the Central Mosque as at that time. So in this formative stage of the organization, many of the leaders, the strategic leaders of the Muslim communities today were the young people that championed the Abuja Muslim, the likes of... Uh, Malam Alaji Idris Usman, Sheikh Tajuddin Bello, Ambassador uh, Ismail Alatishe, and a lot of people like that formed this host organization and foundation for the Islamic organizations in the FCT. That was done over the early stages, the first 10 years of the organization. By the second decade of the organization, many of the Muslims that come from outside Abuja start settling down start forming their own organizations and things start changing. The need and the purpose for the Abuja Muslim Forum was getting reduced and somehow the, the leaders at that time were struggling to get, to define a mission, a relevance for it. Because you are talking about an organization that is like an organization of organizations. Now, many of the organizations have found their feet and they are doing their thing. So it is really a time that a lot of inflection needed to be done. This was like the second period of the Abuja Muslim Forum. But in 2015, around 2015, 2016, these leaders of the organization, including people like Professor Taufik Abdullah Aziz, a prof in the University of Abuja, with these other leaders, sat down to restructure and revive the purpose of the Abuja Muslim Forum. Even though when it was formed, it was set to receive organizations, but there is a major need today to make it a voice, a center of unity, a center of coordination, a defender of Muslim rights within the FCT. Best, in my view, is for them to retain their restructuring activities, restructuring obligation, and coordinating activities of organizations by identifying their areas of strength and partnering with them in harmonizing that strength and consolidating on those activities so that uh, it will assist the UMA generally. And that is the stage that the organization has been over the last few years. And currently there is a new set of technotracts, business leaders, that are now in charge of the organization working to move it to serve that purpose not to be an organized organization but to be an organization of organizations an organization that coordinates the activities of muslims within the ummah speak for the muslims within the ummah ensure that the economic interests and everything of the muslims are protected and coordinated 
within the FCT. A few weeks ago, they had a strategic session where the vision and the ideas of the organization were presented. Dr. Abdul Salam is a strategic planner and a policy analyst developed some of the strategies and you know, gave a sense of direction of what the Abuja Muslim Forum should stand for and how they can go ahead to achieve it. Demographics of Abuja community is such that we are Muslim, Muslim civil servants, petty traders, artisans, laborers, and private practitioners, and other people. Now, this demography will give us an idea of the challenge side of the problem we want to solve. What vision we, are we thinking about for the AMF? We will think that in the next 10, before the ne within the next 10 years plan, we should try to make AMF a household name, where everybody recognizes that AMF is working for their interest. AMF care for their interest. I mean, you might belong to any organization, but know that if you have any challenge, AMF will be there out for you, for the Muslim community in Abuja. And we have to also be an effective Muslim voice. If there are issues at stake, AMF should be able to lead in raising um, awareness and making statements. His strategy included ways to finance it, ways to sustain it to track progress and ensure that there is buy-in and there is collectiveness in the, within the Muslims in the FCT. I pray to Allah to make it easy for the Abuja Muslim Forum to achieve its purpose of providing development and growth for the Muslim community within the FCT. That will be the package for today. My name is Jibril Ibrahim and I say, Ma Salam. A technically faulty events coverage is no value for money. A crispy, clear, high-definition production, live stream, or online conference is our business. iMedia Communications, the final frontier for video production services. Build a home for yourself in paradise. Whoever builds a mosque for the sake of Allah, like a sparrow's nest or even smaller, Allah will build for him a house in paradise. Ibn Majah Are you thinking of building a home for yourself in paradise this blessed month of Ramadan? The International Halal Family Center is offering you a golden opportunity of doing so. The International Halal Family Center's mosque and that was center, a project of the Islamic Family Foundation, offers every conscious believer unique avenue to own a home in paradise through your contribution to this lofty project. The center, which is located on a 2.3 hectares in Wasa District, Abu Abuja, has kicked off with the Masjid and Da'wa Center. The over 2,000 capacity masjid will not only serve as a Jumat mosque for the community, it will equally serve as a rallying point for our brethren in the district. Be a part of this worthy cause by donating generously to the mosque project. All donations shall be sent to the project's account number, Islamic Family Foundation Mosque Development, Stalin Bank, 050-57-60536. Domiciliary accounts, Stalin Bank, 50 7 49176. For further inquiries, contact us on the following numbers 080 080-33-170-5075, or 080-5195-6010. May Allah reward you abundantly as you build a home for yourself in Jannah through this initiative.
from the cradle to the grave. Seek knowledge, seek knowledge, seek knowledge, seek knowledge. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم living with the glorious quran we are still discussing the first century and how there are plain memorials in it the place where abraham stood up to pray whoever enters it is safe and pilgrimage is made obligatory on people it's a duty to allah for mankind we are taking faman dakhalahu kana amina whoever enters it is safe this is an answer to the prayer of nabiullah ibrahim when he said wa id qala ibrahim rabbi ij'al hadha al-balad amina وَجَنَبْنِي وَبَنِي أَن نَّعْبُدَ الْأَصْنَامَ Oh Allah make this a region of security a region of peace and preserve me and my sons from serving idols In another place Allah said أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا جَعَلْنَا حَرَمًا آمِنًا وَيُتَخَطَّفُ النَّاسُ مِنْ حَوْلِهِمْ أَفَبِالْبَاطِلِ يُؤْمِنُونَ وَبِنِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ yet for all have they not seen that we have appointed a sanctuary immune from violence while mankind are ravaged all around it do they then believe in falsehood and disbelieve in the bounty of allah woman dakhalahu kana amina and whoever enters it is safe whoever entereth the holy sanctuary is safe yesterday we saw how even animals stayed away from their prey around the haram another meaning is whoever entereth it is safe from the punishment of allah on the day of qiyama whoever enters it as a hajji or an umrah pilgrim seeking allah's reward and his countenance will be saved from the punishment of the day of judgment the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said much when he mentioned that man hajja falam yarfuth wa lam yafsuq raja'a ka yawmi waladatu ummu whoever performs the pilgrimage and does not have intimate relations with his spouse nor commits any sin during the pilgrimage nor dispute unjustly during hajj angry conversations during hajj then he returns from that hajj as pure and as free from sins as on the day on which his mother gave birth to him that is what he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam in another hadith he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam al umratu ila al umra kafaratu lima baynahuma wal hajj al mabrur laysa lahu jazaa'un illa al janna an umra is an expiation for sins committed between it and another umra whatever is in between umras is an expiation but a hajj which is accepted will receive no less a reward than paradise then comes hajj obligation in the most emphatic tone walillahi ala nasi hajjul bayti man istata'a ilayhi sabila and pilgrimage to the house is a duty unto allah for mankind for him who can find a way thither as for him who disbelieveth let him know that allah is independent of all creatures pilgrimage 
is a duty unto Allah for mankind. All people? No. For those who are able to undertake the journey. Woman kafara fa inna Allah ghaniyun anil alameen. Pilgrimage is compulsory on everybody but on those who can undertake the journey, who would be able to make it to Mecca. As for him who disbelieveth, let him know that lo, Allah is independent of all creatures. One would expect the end of the verse to be whoever does not perform the Hajj. Let him know that Allah is independent of all creatures. But Allah said, as for him who disbelieveth, as if to state that whoever has the ability to perform Hajj but refuses to undertake the journey has disbelieved. Pilgrimage to the house is a duty unto Allah for believers or for mankind. Pilgrimage is a duty unto Allah for mankind. But whoever is not able to perform the Hajj would expect the verse to so read. But Allah said, whoever disbelieves as if to show that having ability to perform the Hajj and refusing to go on Hajj is disbelief. Woman kafara fa inna Allah ghaniyun anil alameen. And as for him who disbelieveth, let him know that Allah is completely and totally independent of all creatures. Allah is free and independent of their devotion. He does not need it since they have the means to go on Hajj and they refuse. Their Hajj and their Ziyarah to the house are not needed by Allah. Allah is in no need of all that from one who chooses to avoid going on Hajj, though they are able to undertake the journey. Ability to undertake the journey to Hajj has conditions. Whoever does not have the means to go on Hajj, Hajj is not obligatory on them. Woman kafara fa inna Allah ghaniyun anil alameen. Whoever disbelieves, refuses to go on Hajj, let him know that Allah is independent of all creatures. Whoever fails to perform Hajj while he is able has disbelieved. This is an opinion. Some scholars said since Allah has mentioned clearly and Allah has refused to say those who do not perform the Hajj, Allah is independent of them. Allah chose the word disbelief. Then whoever has the means to go on Hajj and refuses to perform Hajj has disbelieved. This is an opinion of a section of the scholars. Another is that disbelief is mentioned here as a dire warning to denote that the importance of Hajj. Another is that Disbelief is mentioned here as a dire warning to denote the importance of Hajj as a pillar of this religion and that whoever abstains from its performance has assumed the trait of disbelievers. This is the second opinion of the scholars. On this obligation of Hajj, there is a hadith in which Abu Huraira said the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam delivered khutbah and he said, Ya ayyuhal nas, qad furida alaykum al hajju fa hujju. Hajj has become obligatory on you, so perform the hajj. Undertake the journey to Mecca for the hajj. Faqala rajulun akulla amin ya rasulallah. Are we to perform the Hajj every year or Messenger of Allah? The Messenger did not answer him. He ignored him. He kept quiet. This man kept repeating, Are we to perform Hajj every year or Messenger of Allah? Are we to perform Hajj every year or Messenger of Allah? He did not get an answer. 
later the messenger said sallallahu alaihi wasallam law qultu na'am lawajabat wa lam istata'tum if i had said on the is- insistence of this questioner if i had said yes had you have been obligatory on you every year and you would not have been able to undertake the journey then the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as a warning to all daruni ma taraktukum fa inma halaka man kana qablakum bi kathrati su'alihim wa ikhtilafihim ala anbiya'ihim fa idha amartukum bi shay fa'tu minhu ma istata'tum wa idha nahaytukum an shay fad'uhu he said the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam warning to his ummah leave me alone as long as i have said nothing to you concerning anything for your predecessors perished simply because of the excessive questioning to their messengers and their disagreements with them but when i command you to do something obey it as much as you can and when i forbid you to do something leave it alone do not approach it hajj is obligatory on mankind on the muslims for one who is able to undertake the journey whoever does not refuses to undertake the journey if they are able to do that they have some traits of disbelief in them according to the verse that we have read obligation of hajj and how to execute it and what conditions are attached to such execution is what we shall start discussing tomorrow inshallah in living with the glorious quran assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh اطلبوا العين من المهدي الى الله اطلبوا العين من المهدي الى الله اطلبوا العين اطلبوا العين اطلبوا العين من المهدي الى الله from the cradle to the grave seek knowledge seek knowledge seek knowledge seek knowledge and interior offers you a wide range of affordable and attractive interior design items for homes offices hotels restaurants and landscapes located at 49B Kumasi Crescent in Abuja Transform your space with L and N interior exquisite furniture. Call us today at 070-6344-5422 to elevate your interior design. Madlasati Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Nabiyyina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Nuru haq Qur'ani Arabic school. This is school established in 2011 is instituted for the ummah to focus on Quran and Arabic first that's why the mission of the school is to make sure that a child of 12 has memorized the whole Quran and has finished primary school in the nature of the junior secondary school of the school in Lohar, since the child is having a very good package of arabic education and already he has memorized the quran he is going to be exposed to the western education fully i will encourage you to enroll your children to an islamic school where the background is going to be quran and arabic assalamu alaikum nurul haq quranic and arabic school abuja offer and burning kebi 
is a foremost Islamic and Quranic institution that focuses primarily on Islamic and Quranic teaching with a blend of Western education as interpreted via the Nigerian curriculum. At Nurul Haq Quranic and Arabic School, our focus is to ensure our students are certified Hafiz al Quran by the age of 12. Our institution is staffed with professional pictures and handlers that deliver on the mandate of producing children who are tutored in the Islamic knowledge with a view of tackling the challenges of the dunya as well as understanding the pathway to Jannah. Our teaching and learning environment is adequately equipped with state-of-the-art modern learning facilities to help us deliver on our vision. Our bottle facilities are top-notch and very comfortable. Register your child with us today and key into our mantra that says, Knowledge is power. We are located at Lot 534, Sam Okwaraji Street, behind police station, Gwarimpa, Abuja. Our offer campus is at Lot number 7, Block 54, GRA Dumoye Adeboye Street, Ipe Road, Ofakwara State. Or visit our KB campus, behind KB Home and Savings, Tudungwada, Brennan KB, KB State. Nurul Haq Quranic and Arabic School. Knowledge is power. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uridu an akura alakum ma tayasara min al-Quran al-Karim in surat al-Anfal. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسألونك عن الأنفال كل الأنفال لله والرسول فاتقوا الله وأسله ذات بينكم وأديئوا الله ورسوله إن كنتم مؤمنين إنما المؤمنين إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون الذين يكيبون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون أولئك هم المؤمنون حقا لهم درجات عند ربهم ومغفرة ورزق كريم كما أكرجك ربك من بيتك بالحق وإن فريقا من المؤمنين لكارهون صدق الله العظيم في سورة الأنفال أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسألونك عن الأنفال كل الأنفال لله والرسول فت اتقوا الله وأسله ذات بينكم وأديئوا الله ورسوله إن كنتم مؤمنين إنما المؤمنين إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون الذين يكيبون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون أولئك هم المؤمنون حقا 
لهم درجات عند ربهم ومغفرة ورزق كريم كما أكرجك ربك من بيتك بالحق وإن فريقا من المؤمنين لكارهون صدق الله العظيم I am here to present the hadith about the seven destructive sins. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu marfu'an ijtanibu sab'a al-mubiqat qalu ya Rasulullah wa ma'ahunna qala al-shirku billah wa sihir wa qatulu al-nafsi al-lati harrama allahu illa bil-haq wa aklu al-riba wa aklu al-mali al-yatim wa tawalli yawm al-zahf wa qasfu al-muhsanat al-ghafilat al-mu'inat muttafaqan alayh Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, Avoid the seven destructive sins. And, and when asked about them, he said, Associating partners with Allah, magic, kill an innocent person except by legal rights, retreating from the battlefield, slandering chaste innocents and believing women of fornication. The Prophet commands the Ummah to stay away from the seven destructive sins and when asked about them, he started with the most grievous sin, namely associating partners of any kind with Allah. Other major sins include magic, killing that is not justified by the Sharia law, consuming usury, consuming the property of an orphan, escaping from fighting the disbelievers and accusing chaste women of fornication. Thank you. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته كيف حالك يا أخي الكريم؟ خالي والحمد لله كيف تجي أمور الصوم رمضان معك؟ الحمد لله كل شيء يسير بسهولة أيضا يسير بشكل جيد شهر رمضان دائما يكون فرصة للاقتراب أكثر من الله وتحسين الأخلاق بالتأكيد إنه شهر مقدس 
تعلمنا التعامل الصباح عن كل المشكلات كيف تبدو أوقاتك في هذا الشهر؟ حاول أن أقضي وقتي في العبادة بقراءة القرآن كل يوم وأنت؟ أنا أيضا أحاول أن أقوم بصلوات الخمسة وتلاوة القرآن كل يوم بالإضافة إلى ذلك أعاني قليلا من الجوع والأطرش أثناء الصيام نعم الشهور الصيفية في بلدنا تكون محاضة بشكل خاص لكن أعتقد أن الصوم يعلمنا التعامل والصوم صوم رمضان يعتبر من أهم الأعمال العبادية ما هو سبب الذي يدفعك لصيامه؟ صوم رمضان ليس فقط عبادة إنسانية ولكن أيضا فرصة للتقرب إلى الله فعلينا بفعل كل خيرات شكرا على نصائح وهناك فرصة للتوبة وتحسين النفس خلال رمضان هل لديك أي توصية أخرى؟ أحد النصائح الأساسية هو أن نكون أكثر تسامحا ولطفا في رمضان ينبغي علينا أن نبذل جهدنا لمساعدة الآخرين وفعل الخير وإظهار الأطف والتعاون رمضان يمكنني التجديد الروحي وتحسين النواحي الحياتي شكرا لك أسأل الله أن يتقبل صيامنا ويغفر لنا ذنوبنا. آمين. أتمنى لك شهرا مباركا وسعيدا. شكرا لك وداعا. الحمد لله الذي فرض صوم في شهر رمضان وجعله راحة للنفس والأبدان ووعد الصائمين بابا يقول رويان والصلاة والسلام على ما بالأوس رحمة من الإنس والجن. أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. ها قد أقبل شهر رمضان فحسن العمل فيه ورحب الفطر والزنوب قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا دخل رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة وغلقت أبواب النار وسلسلت الشياطين فيا لسعادة من أمسك بجمع من نفسه في هذا الشهر العظيم فيها سبيل الجنة أيها المسلمون من لم يتوب في رمضان ومتى يتوب ومن لم يقل عن الزنوب في رمضان ومتى يقل وقد ثبت عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه صعد المنبر وقال آمين 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 فقيل يا رسول الله إنك حين صعدت المنبر قلت آمين 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 فقال إن جبريل أنتعني فقال من أدرق شهر رمضان ولم يقبل له فدخل النار فبعده الله قل آمين فقلت آمين ولن كنت تريد مغفرة الخطايا فعليك بصوم رمضان وقد صح أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال قال كل عمل ابن آدم يضعف بأسه قال عز وجل إلا صوت فإنه بي وأنا أجزي به أدعو الشهر وهو طعامه من أجل الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبره الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا والحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصلاه أما بعد أيها المسلمون إن الصواب بترك الطعام والشراب والجماع وباس المفترض لكثر جدا وقد ثبت عن عدد من تلاميذ الصحابة رضي الله عنهم أنه قالوا إن أهون صوم بترك الطعام والشراب ولكن الصائم هو من صومت جواريه عن الأسم ولسانه عن كل معرم ووطنه عن الطعام والشراب وفرجه عن الجماع وعينه عن النظر إلى المحرمات ربنا آتنا في الدنيا سنة وفي الآخرة سنة ربنا إنك عفو تيب الأفوى فأفعلنا في السماء تجلل الرحمن وتعظم المولى القدير وتعبد المنان وتحفز النفس الكريمة تبتغي الجنات بحلول شهر الصوم والرحمات والرضوان روح تلألئ في السماء تجلل الرحمن وتعظم المولى القدير وتعبد المنان وتحفز النفس الكريمة تبتغي الجنات بحلول شهر When Comrel finally addressed the tent problems, the group gathered at the tunnel entrances and proceeded to Minar. <laughs>
Recitation of the Talbaya on the buses continued. The buses stopped right at the Jamarat area where the tents are situated and all the pilgrims alighted. Comral tents are the closest to the Jamarat and thus the pilgrims sauntered into their rooms for a much needed rest and preparation for the journey to Arafah the next day. Of Zulhijjah, we left Mecca very early. Uh, that, that's a kudus to the company because when we came here, we were uh, given our rooms in time. Everybody has his own bed space. There is no hitches. All like the other people that came in, that came in like late afternoon and evening. They were just sitting down outside, you know, without any accommodation, and and, and and you know, it was just it was just chaos. But Alhamdulillah, we were here in time. We sorted ourselves. Everybody has his own uh, what do you call it, best space, and we had our breakfast, and uh, and everything was fantastic. Alhamdulillah. I was told Muna is about 50 degrees Celsius. Yes, 50 degrees, but I never feel like 50 degrees. Sure, we have to call them to come out of the AC. So the AC are powering real good. So it doesn't really feel like uh, uh, it's hot. When they say it's hot, I say, so everybody is complaining of it's not hot. So they were able to get a premium uh, location, a premium tent, in terms of distance, in terms of comfort. Alhamdulillah. Thank Allah for everything, and uh, it has been such a wonderful time on the program for today. Sahu Live, reaching you from NTA. So far, so good. We've learned, we've listened, and we've been inspired by the scholars and the segments we had. I hope you have been able to pick one or two things from there, and I pray will make this uh, rewarding uh, uh, experience for all of us. Uh, we want to look into some reports from Al Habibia time, and we'd like all of us to stay tuned and let's see what uh, they've got for us this time around. So don't go anywhere, still, we are right here. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> It's another typical day at the Al Habibi Islamic Center in Guzapi, Abuja. It's the sunset 
Time for Iftar, the break of fast. And the atmosphere was ready for the day's feeding. A program that is synonymous with an ideal social safety night for the Ummah. The generosity here is pulling more crowd of beneficiaries daily. The arrangement remains awesome with coordination that speaks volumes. Of course, the program is being managed by the Ramadan Food Bank with dedicated men and women serving Allah and humanity which benefits the less privileged in society. The crew who followed the steps of sharing the iftar food capture this moment. The chairman, Al Habibia Ramadan Food Bank, Al Haji Farouk Sliman, said the growing number of Muslims being fed during Iftar has never been a problem. The problem behind this innovation uh, in the sharing of food is to give everybody a fair share. And that is why you see the way we are serving simultaneously. In less than 15 minutes, we finish praying at 7 and we are done with about 2,000 persons. It's a sustainable one, inshallah by the assistance of the Muslim Ummah and the entire Ummah. Those the ones we know and those we don't know. Hajia Habiba, who is in charge of the kitchen, shares her experience taking care of thousands of stomachs daily. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. The important thing is that uh, you identify everybody and treat that person as an individual because every human being is unique. So there are those who want to be orderly there are those who want to be rough. There are those who the feed might not be sufficient because uh, our appetite differs. And then there are those who are not able to struggle. So you have to match all these things together and be able to come out with a plan to see that you achieve what you want to do. There is nothing like uh, seeing somebody being happy because you help that person to be happy. Chief Imam of Hal Habibiyya Islamic Society, Imam Fuad Adeyemi says, connecting with people in the holy month of Ramadan through Iftar is another way of identifying with the conditions of people of the Ummah he is leading, as such, giving them a sense of belonging. The program is not just special for this year. We have started this program for the past 20 years. The only thing we have this year is that we scale it up because we had more people to feed during this month. You know, Ramadan is a time that encourages you to give. The more you give, the more you have Allah's blessing. We know things are not easy for people, and that we have to look for a way of mitigating it because of the month of Ramadan, and because we know that Allah's mercy will move around all of us. In spite of the current economic realities, the program was never in any way hindered. No, so many individuals are supporting us, uh, but Alhamdulillah, I think why the support is huge this year is that there is a lot of uh, credibility and uh, trustworthiness that the program has gotten over the years. The managers of it, uh, people believe in them, people trust in them, and uh, people have seen what they do uh, because of transparency, the credibility of everything. So, it allow, we don't even print any paper of requests. We do not send any helpers to anybody. But those who have used to us over the years, they are the ones who say, what do you need this year? What do you need this year? We even have somebody that always asks, that after three days, what is the next thing that you are in need of? And they supply in his only two ways. Other people also come. And Alhamdulillah. For the children, their joy knows no bound. Alhamdulillah, thank you. Apart from the daily iftar feeding program of Al Habibi Islamic Society in Ramadan, these less privileged people also benefit from all the programs of the society outside the Ramadan. Abdullah Hajia, NTA News. Our brothers and sisters in the internally displaced camps need your help. We at Al Habibia Islamic Society, in partnership with the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, are appealing for your generous contributions towards their care and resettlement. Make your donations to the following accounts Al Habibia Islamic Society 00038284400 at Taj Bank, Al Habibia Islamic Society 00038284400 at Taj Bank, 
0004741057 Jai's Bank or the Domiciliary Dollar Account Al Habibia Islamic Society 0036116712 Unity Bank For further inquiries please call Nuruddin on Read one on Please donate generously to the care and resettlement of the IDPs Al Habibia Islamic Society from Allah to you a light. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a very beautiful report there. And we have been able to see how people were being fed, how uh, everything was going on, you know, in order. May Allah bless all of those who have facilitated, facilitated that uh, activity. And this is something they do every day in the month of Ramadan. We pray that Omni Tala continue to sustain them and support all of the things that um, all of the people that they gather together, may Allah support them too in many ways. And like uh, Imam Fuad used to say, there's no copyright to this. You can also learn how they do it and see what you can replicate in your own community mm -hmm. so that we spread it all around, the more the merrier. And for the ones that are already being done, find ways of supporting uh, the feeding. If they decide to feed 5,000 people every day, there will still be more people to be fed. So it is, there's, no, there's no ceiling to how far we can go in uh, ameliorating the hardship that so many people are going through due to all of these uh, global economic uh, crutches on, on, on nations. May Allah continue to make it easy for us. When people um, are fed, they can think better and they can be more productive and things are going to go in, in a much better way. So thank you very much for that again. And um, Imam Fouad, do you remember the challenge, the um, Quran challenge of the other time mm -hmm. that uh, we asked people to uh, record, yes, a recitation mm -hmm. of Quran okay. chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 183. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is still one of the activities of the quiz segment, and that is one of the ways of um, letting everybody get a feel or an opportunity to participate in the uh, quiz <coughs> segment. So we would like to bring you the report or the results of the submissions that people made during that time at the tenure of the challenge. So we want you to please stay tuned and let's see this together. And of course, the imams who are going to let us know those who really read very well and whatever prizes that are available for them. Let us stay tuned now. This is another beautiful thing coming to you from Sahu Live on NTA. Stay tuned and... Enjoy. Allah 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala ladhina min kabulikum la'allakum tattakun Sadaqallahul azim أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم السيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لألقم تت يقول سبحانك اللهم عظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا
That was uh, the presentation there. There were so many entries, but these were the selected ones. That, oh, the uh, best 20. Yes, the, uh, the best 20 of all. We really want to appreciate those who took time to participate. And uh, note that you didn't read well, actually. If you didn't see yourself shown there, it's because um, the number was very large, and then it had to be streamlined to the first uh, 20. I want uh, Imam Mufai to co briefly comment on it, then Imam will tell us how much we are going to give to them for this beautiful job they have done. Imam mm. Mufai. So, Alhamdulillah, sincerely they have tried. MashaAllah. They recited well, mm. uh, even though almost all of them uh, use a, a one single version mm. that is the, uh, the Hubs. Hubs. Okay. Hubs uh, so, I would like to encourage them that they should go further. Mm. That means to go into different uh, versions of recitation. Okay. There are many, uh, so much, mm. and likewise so beautiful. Exactly. And two, they should try in seeing that they study the science of Quran so much mm. so that they can apply 
the the different sciences. Okay. You know, the Quran yeah. is teaching is so nice and beautiful. Uh, ev nobody nobody is a, uh, 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 m is a master of everything. Nobody. Nah, uh, no yes. matter how vast one is, you will find he will have one defect or the or other. The other. Mm. He, he will not be perfect in all. Hundred percent. You find somebody who knows all the versions. Not only he knows study the versions, but he can apply all the versions. Mm. But in one aspect, he will be caught. <laughs> so it's a it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge, really. So we thank uh, those who were able to take up the challenges. May Allah reward them abundantly. Imam Fuad, what do you have to say to these people? Uh, well, I think all of them have really, really tried. I wish that it's time you could have seen the presentation of other people okay. too. Uh, so that you could have judged by yourself that, well, so many of them also try. But one thing is that when they want to take 20, everybody has the same mark. Mm. Somebody must be in front, either through alphabetical order <laughs> of their name <laughs> or anyhow, or anyhow <laughs> arrangement. That mm. does not mean they are the best, they are the final best. Mm, mm, uh, mm. There are also other ones that are also very good. But mm. notwithstanding, all these 20, all mm. of them will have 5,000 5, naira. Allah, 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 Allah. It will encourage <laughs> all of us <laughs> to be able to. It's too small, it's a token. Mm. But at least if we begin to do something like that, it will also encourage other people to yeah, do more. Uh, by the time we also read, but don't forget just one verse of mm. about three lines. Mm. And uh, uh, we do more, and we also do more. Mm. Allah mm. Akbar. So 5,000 Naira each for those who were selected in that order. May Almighty Allah reward you. You see, uh, parents especially, I want all of us to congratulate ourselves for what we just saw now. Many crazy things go on on this social media all around. Mm -hmm. But we have these children who took up the challenge of reciting the glorious Quran and posting it. This is their own version of whatever they do on the social media. So it's not all bad like that. We don't have all of these children doing bad things. There are still very, very good ones amongst them. And in fact, those that you see post um, unnecessary things, there are very few compared to the multitude of these children that are out there posting positive things and encouraging each other to develop spiritually, morally, in fact, in every aspect of life that you can ever think mm -hmm. about. So this is a pointer to a lot of goodness for us. And it also means that um, our future is bright in this country, Nigeria. So uh, our uh, youth are, yes, kudos uh, to them. Yes, honestly, <laughs> kudos to them. But I want to encourage uh, us to develop our own things in our own way. Mm. Yes, the South Arabia that we are using is very good, but we, there is no way we could beat those who are the owner mm. of their own team. Okay. We have different ways that people read from different parts of Nigeria. And when you listen to it with good stage with, with good voice, mm. you will know that internationally, they are also recognized. I have an experience where one of my teachers was reading in a local way inside Haram. Mm. He said he want to show that we have Islam mm. here <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> yes. And he was reading aloud mm. inside Haram using the local everybody was passing say, but this is correct. Somebody came, he gave him clothes, he gave him money, he said, Ah, can we have to have this? <laughs> so you can also me, I always want somebody to be different. Do things that you don't join the multitude. Mm. Everybody Allah has given us so many gifts. Mm. Promote your gift, develop mm. your gift. Everybody will look for you. Allah uh, And uh, Imam, thank you. I know you are a nationalist. <laughs> but let me say something that will shock you, that these children you see, mm. they even reside better than people in Saudi Arabia. Of course. <laughs> and that's why a Nigerian will go participate in Quranic competition in Saudi Arabia. And he will still come first. No, there's also a new, uh, uh, I do not confirm this thing, that the country that memorized Quran the more that is Nigeria. The Nigeria. most in the yes, world. The most in the whole more world. than the Malaysia, world. more than Saudi Arabia. We have larger collection of people who have memorized the Quran. Mm. This country is not a joke. Oh. Mm. Uh, I don't uh, this one will tell you that the talent in Nigeria is so much and so vast that we needed to make use of it. Of it. Mm. And yes. it's also a virgin land. Nigeria is a virgin it's land that uh, whatever that gift that you have, promote it. Allah will also support you as much as positive. <laughs> You will see people yeah. supporting. I met, I saw one man that he mimicked almost all the scholars in Nigeria. I don't know if you've ever seen it. 
And, uh, Whenever he talks, he mimic one person. <laughs> the way he reads, <laughs> you would think it is that man that you are sitting with. And, uh, awesome. and uh, awesome. so many gifts God has given to us in this country. So even um, with all of that, we are mm. just starting. We are just starting. starting. People have not seen anything. Yes. yes. Yeah, this is I what I like. You know. move, uh, <laughs> it means it will be something different. Yeah. Everyone will love to even come and learn from and us. Learn from us. Yes. yes. Awesome. So our future is bright to Nigeria. Yeah. Let's, let's not take yeah. ourselves as a joke. This is serious. We've got very brilliant, intelligent young people here. And that's the greatest resources anybody can ever have. Human resources, that is the stuff. Anyway, we'll still talk more about this. It's just something of happiness for all of us to share. And thank you, Imam. 5K for each of those people who recited. Mm -hmm. And may Allah bless you. Happy bless. It's not a small money now. Ah, it's <laughs> a lot of money now. <laughs> Especially as Naira is appreciating, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> may Allah make it easy for us. Mm -hmm. so, uh, appreciation for all of those names that you see there. Sorry because of time. I always love reading them out mm -hmm. loud. But still, I do hope that we all can see we are still appreciating we will not stop thanking you so long as you will not stop assisting us. May Allah continue to be there for you at all times in your lives. Jazakum Allah khairan. And the, the 55K for those who took part in that, those who were selected, please remember to pray for those who donated that money. They actually did that to encourage you. So please be encouraged. May Allah assist us. Sorry, Imam, we took um, no, 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 half no, no, of the, no, 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 the quiz segment, no, 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 and this no, no, no. is supposed to be part of the quiz mm -hmm. segment. Too. No, wh what we are going to do this morning is like we will continue with that. Those who miss it under that <laughs> verse, if you <laughs> call in now, you are going to read the same verse. Okay. Let's see what, what and what, what we can, can happen. What can okay. happen online. So if you don't have it there, you can have it here. So it's not too late. It's not yes. too late. Ah, you see. always give hope. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Hello, Salam Alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Sahu Live on NTA. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How do you do? Tell him to relax. Fine, sir. My name is Hawa from Kujia. Hawa from Kujia, Abuja. Yes, sir. All right. You are most welcome. Haji Hawa. Haji Hawa. Did you watch what? Did you, you, you watch the reading Hello? of the. Hey, listen up, Haji Hawa. Take it easy. Calm down. Did you watch what was? Yes, sir. Did you watch what was presented just now? <laughs> sir, I'm not hearing you, sir. Uh, it's because you are the uh, the birds there are dragging the phone. Hello. Uh, yes, listen attentively now. <laughs> Did you listen to the? the uh, listen attentively. Just calm down. Take it easy. Road safety people are watching. If you are speeding too much. You might be arrested. Just okay, relax. Sir. If you want something, you want to be part of this program, well, just relax. If there's a foul there that is actually contending with the food. <laughs> Hadia, are you listening now? Listen attentively. All right? Yes, I'm listening, sir. Thank you, my sister. Mm -hmm. You Did you watch what was shown now about people who are reading Quran? Huh? Did you watch the people reading the Quran now in the Quran challenge? Have you been watching? Which Quran? Uh, some people were reading Quran just now on this uh, channel on NTA. Did you watch it now? It's, it's just a few minutes back. No, we don't have light. I, I did not watch it. I'm not watching it. Oh. We don't have light. Okay. Oh, yeah. What they did was that they all uh -huh. read chapter 2, verse 183 of the Glorious Quran. No. Can you read it for us too? Okay, let me tell you. Quran chapter 2, verse 183. Can you, can you read it for us? Verse 183. Can you read it for us? Check your Quran. Mm -hmm. One hundred and eighty-three. Exactly. It's, it's, uh, open the Quran, no problem. You don't Start know it with, yeah, you are like okay. Okay, okay, sir. <laughs> open the Quran, no problem. I hope she has a okay. bright mind my, my yes. that, she, that she can see. Read <laughs> Nabu. Quran chapter 2. Surah to Bakara. Surah to Bakara. By Zara. 83. We are waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here for you today. Okay. Uh, open it and read it for us. Verse 183. <laughs> that 
that is part of the quiz, I suppose. <laughs> Looking for one. I'm just I'm coming. Ah, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wahala. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it's there somewhere. After 182, you find it there next. It's around page 20 something. It is Do you know it off heart? Yeah, I know it. Do you have it memorized? Do you have it memorized? That verse. Can you read it? Can you read it? Yeah, I will let you Hey, what are you doing? I'm not a servant. So do your best. Go ahead now. Do right. your best. That's why we asked you to do it. Hmm. Oh, my has gone. <laughs> so she, you can. She think that oh, so like how what? Yeah, she tried, 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 and you she know, continued to try. Let's, I think she she focused too much on what you will be likely give her. <laughs> <laughs> Please still give her something all the same. Uh, the the verse was hiding, you know. She she actually wanted to read it. I don't know whether we can give her three thousand naira for transport. Uh, uh, yes, send your account details. We we'll give you three thousand naira at least for that effort. Yes. Okay. Mm, yeah. Did yes. Did you hear that? Um, send your account to this number, mm. and the imam is going to give you three thousand naira. Uh, my Omar, if I will add 1,000, I will add 1,000 naira. So that to augment. That makes it 5K. <laughs> <laughs> because POS uh, people will Quran move say their is not on this, sir. Yeah, yeah, Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> yeah, it's that effort that really thrilled me. You know, frantically looking for it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward your effort. <laughs> Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello? Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello, uh, Please speak out loud. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Hassan, calling from Kaduna. Hassan, calling from Kaduna. Ask where is watching. Yes. Where is Kaduna? Where is watching? Are you watching okay. us? Uh, Kakuri. Kakuri, okay. Are you watching us now? Are you seeing us? Yes. What did I just do now? Can you see me? Eh? Uh -huh. Can you see me? What did I just do now? Hello? Uh, hello, can you hear me now? At least you can hear yes, me. Yes, I can hear you. Uh -huh. uh, okay, listen up for your question. Yes, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. are waving your uh, oh, So turn on the volume of your TV set. That means there's attenuation. Yes, I'll turn it down. Uh -huh. Thank you. Just take it easy. <laughs> Don't run. Oh, subhanAllah. You see in the process of running about. Oh, mm -hmm. subhanAllah. Well, we try and call stay. again. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if we can see squeezing one more call. Hello, salam alaikum. Welcome to Saul Live on NTA. No, no. Please, what's your name? Where are you calling? Kaduna. 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 So, Sunday's what? So, what do you have for you now? The last call. Okay. Aisha. Na. The current Surah Tul Bakara. I am not a reader. Taman in the Uku. Ki current to Sura Tul Bakara, I am not a reader Taman in the Uku in the Allah Kitua, you and Lazina Amanu Kutiba in the Allah Echi, you are Lazina Manu Kutiba Alekum Siam. Zaki, yeah, yeah, to Bismillah. Aida Saudi, Mamma Perka, yeah, you are Lazina Manu Kutiba Alekum Siam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مريا يا 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 أيها الذين آمنوا شجبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون التكبير أيها الأكبر Thank you very much, and uh, that was very smooth. That's a very, very, good very smooth. As he was expecting. Mm. So, uh, uh, Aisha. Yes. Hello. Okay. Uh, we. You will send your account details. 
We are sending you 10,000 Naira because it was a perfect rate. MashaAllah. So mm. you send your account number to this same number here. InshaAllah, that will back you 10,000 Naira. MashaAllah. Okay, thank you. Ah, okay, thank you. No, the network is, does not allow her to, to <laughs> yeah. hear it very well. <laughs> All right, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. Shukran. Thank you very much, Jazakillah Khairan. Uh, I'm afraid that's about the size of our program for today. This time, theme myself. I wish we could go on and on and on. But we have to uh, put a halt on it there, and we are going to do it tomorrow again, inshallah. Sure, thank you very much for your calling in. May Allah bless and reward you. Imam Fuad Robana. Takabal mina ina kanta semi on doa watuba alina ya maulana ina kanta tawab rahim Rabbana talamna anfusana wa in lam tagr lana wa tarhamna lana kunna namina khasirin Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamu ala musaleem wa alhamdulillah rabbil Thank you very much Jazakumullah khairan Do have a beautiful day ahead Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن Yeah, I don't see.